Welcome to your Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. Some things you need to know before straight razor shaving. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. If you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Consider hitting that join button and becoming a member to support this channel. My one word is heart. I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. I want to wish you and yours a Merry Christmas in this holiday season from the bottom of my heart. In this video, we're looking at what I wish I knew before I started straight razor shaving starting right now. T's contribution is Keep the blade flat on your face. This goes for shavettes too, and gradually open up to find the cutting angle for that particular blade and use the lightest touch you can imagine. A sharp blade will do the work for you. Getting this angle right from the beginning is difficult, but it can be done and T's absolutely right. You start with the flattest possible angle, raise the spine up to get to the proper 20 to 30 degree shaving angle. I am CBD wrote, I wish I had known what to expect in terms of the blade feel. Even a well-honed straight razor feels fairly different from a Shavette DE or SE blade. Chris, your Shavette, DE, and SE all have machine sharp blades, whereas the straight razor is going to have a very different edge. It is going to be hand sharpened and it will have a totally different feel. For me, it is more comfortable to shave with a straight razor than using a Shavette, a DE, or an SE with a machine sharp blade. George Campbell wrote, I wish I knew how addictive straight razor shaving is. And I wish I'd started out using both hands with the razor. Starting that way helped me tremendously. You are so right. Shaving with both hands is the best way to shave with a straight razor because you'll be able to get different parts of your face better that way. Now, there is a pretty steep learning curve on shaving with both hands, but if you start from the beginning, it's always going to be slow anyway, so you will have time to learn how to shave with your non-dominant hand. It is so addictive shaving with a straight razor, especially when you put your own edge on that blade. Jody wrote, what I wish I'd known when I started straight razor shaving is how much better vintage straights are than today's razors. Yeah, buddy, you are so right. Vintage straight razors are the best. Gold dollar or ZY straight razors are great to learn how to hone or shave with. The vintage razors are so well made and it is so cool to shave with something that is that old and has that kind of history behind it. And when you use a vintage razor, you become part of the history of that razor as well. Nicholas wrote, I wish I knew to buy a good razor up front. That is so true. Buying a good razor up front can be very helpful. Now, there is a caveat to this. If you are on the fence whether you want to do this or not, then you may need to go ahead and go with something less expensive. But if you have the money and inclination, I say go for it. Nicholas wrote, I wish I knew about different dealers. My first razor wasn't quite shave ready. So I spent a lot of time learning how to hone and ruined a couple of razors doing so. But now that I know better, I've got several more in rotation. That is so true. We don't always know in the beginning all the different dealers that you can get a straight razor from. However, there are quite a few out there 
in. If you ask some of the vintage shavers that have been doing this for a while, they can steer you in the right direction. Ken wrote, wish I knew the proper angles when I started, especially for the against the grain. You're right. Knowing the proper angle is the best way to get a comfortable shave. Now with the grain, that would be a 20 to 30 degree shaving angle, which is if you lay that razor on your face flat, raise the spine to spine width off your face, that's going to be that approximate 20 to 30 degree angle. Now going against the grain, I would lay that razor flat and just slightly raise that spine up off of your skin and try there because going against the grain, you want the shallowest possible angle to make it work and be comfortable for you. Andrew wrote, what I wish I knew when I started straight razor shaving is not an easy question. You got that right, Andrew. As I wish I knew everything, but I guess that the journey is half the fun. It really is. The journey is half the fun and I encourage you to embrace it. One thing I wish I did at the beginning was not buy cheap stuff, i.e. straps and etc. Should have bought quality stuff from the start and would have been a lot better off in the long run. You are right. Now, here's the only thing to this is if you are into straight razor shaving full on and you're ready to go at it and you're really committed to it, I say yes, get some high quality products and you will be able to get a more comfortable shave and you'll have good equipment in the long run. Luigi wrote, what I wish I knew is the change in angle required pressure and chin work. Yes, getting that proper 20 to 30 degree shaving angle is key along with little to no pressure with that straight razor. It should be sharp enough to be able to cut on its own. And when you're working around that chin, you want to actually rotate that blade around to get it as flat as you can through that chin area and you will be able to get a more comfortable shave that way. Nicholas wrote, another thing I wish I knew is that I could have made strops myself from the beginning. This is so true. There are so many things that you could make. You could make strops, you could make brushes. I have put together a couple of brushes and there is nothing like using something you made. So I encourage you, if you're thinking about making something, go ahead and do it. If I missed what you wish you knew before you started straight razor shaving, let us know down in the comments. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see straight razor shaving, your first full face shave. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.